Hi, this is Paul from paulbradby.com and this is a video going through my current stock swing trading positions, where I am right now, what the entries were, time frames, what strategy I was using, that sort of thing. Uh, these are current open trades with my inner circle. Currently, uh, you can see here we've got a 1,005% profit times risk right now. Uh, we all of these trades are, are only risking 0.2% of the trading account balance. So as you can see, quite a few trades on there, so quite a lot of risk. Uh, but we have some trading stops in there, and you know we've got some good profit right now. So what I wanted to do was go through these one by one and talk about entry strategy, the, the trade management, and everything like that. What 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 I'm you know what I'm seeing on behaviour. I'm going to be using some of the indicator suites from GlobalTradingSoftware.com, predominantly the Swing Trading Bundle and the new The Manager, uh, which is basically my trade management brain. So you know, there's one thing I've got to do is stick to uh, to what has been developed using what I do to manage these trades. So first one, HDB. 21st of May this one this is on a weekly time frame now it should be out by now uh, and it's just not going even though we've just had her earnings which could push us up through this pivot but uh, you know let's go through the entry I mean, it's, it's atypical for me with this uh, swing trading type strategy uh, in that we've had a we had a wave for pullback against the main bullish trend which has been in really uh, since the the pandemic pullback and then we've had a great bullish move up we moved back down a wave four and I'm looking for that fifth wave long uh, it's just not gone there at the moment um, I'm, I'm quite happy to leave it as it is it looks pretty bullish after earnings we'll go through that in a second um, but the wave four was was good it found support in the green zone uh, of our Elliott wave indicator suite so that's an 85 percent probably it's going to go on and hit the blue wave the blue uh, fifth wave target zone up there around about 90 bucks but it's just taking its time it needs a good catalyst not a good earnings to actually get there uh, we you can see here we've got the um, regression trend channel uh, the Pearson's are on there is just over 90 percent 0.909 uh, so that was a good orderly profit taking pullback normal behavior uh, look on the bottom here the, the false breakout stochastic uh, really strong bullish trend and when it pulls back against there and crosses over the oversold zone it's like an elastic band it wants to get back up to that uh, sort of overbought and those false breakout stochastics not done that yet but these current earnings catalyst could be the same and then the Elliott wave oscillator on the way for pullback pullback just between 90 and 140 um, so stop loss is just below the way for and it's still there I have not had enough momentum to make this risk free yet however if we go to uh, the daily time frame we can see the earnings reaction was here that gave us on the expert algo part of that swing trading bundle a six star buy so this gives me more confident we've had uh, a good uh, reaction after that with a strong green candle with the manager there, higher than average volume and then the gap up uh, on this day and, and then we, we've sort of consolid make, consolidated making this bullish pennant right now so as long as the markets look bullish next week I think this could push up an attempt uh, to break this pivot around about $80 if it can get through $80 and close above $80 um, which is above the 50% the, the line for me that's when I'll make it risk-free we go back here on the weekly this uh, you know this is where that pivots very important because then we'll be looking to test this wave three high around about $84.59 so that's the first one. NVEE -E is next again on the weekly time frame. I'm just going to have to adjust this wave count because obviously everything's in a different pattern. So I need to uh, isolate that wave count here at the lows, part of the early wave indicator suite. You need to understand where the lows are. 336. So let's just uh, isolate that 336. Okay. So again, traditional setup for me really on the weekly time frame in that we had a, a wave four pullback, came into the amber zone this time, 80% probability it's going to go on and hit that fifth wave target, good enough for me. Uh, 535 oscillator, the Elliott wave oscillator is good, we've got the false breakouts on the stochastic, crossed over in the oversold zone against there, wants to return. 
so recently on the weekly we did push up and test this previous um, resistance zone which is normal and natural uh, for a fifth wave move at this previous highs on the wave three we've got earnings coming up right uh, very very soon uh, so what we'll look for there is we are risk free now though can you see there we'll go to the daily in a minute and show you more but basically got some red hashes there this was the initial um, stop loss but now we're through that 50 percent and we've attempted this I just didn't want a you know a total failure of this trend and come down so I'm risk free it's come back down it's now moving back up had a good week last week last week's candle was a green candle opposed from a gray a gray candle is not candle but lower volume than the previous week this this last week we had bullish engulfing we had higher volume than the previous week so great looking uh, set up there so we go into the daily time frame you can see a little bit better where I put that uh, trading stop now at break even um, you know we we are pretty um, pretty good on this uh, Friday was a good good day Friday higher than average volume uh, I think what we need is the earnings catalyst 9th of November to really give this a good push when we look at previous earnings uh, we've had some good bullish moves from the last two uh, last uh, the third one was pretty dramatic so you know on the, the so three out of four was really good bullish um, move so uh, you know that's good odds for me I'm risk-free I'm gonna carry it through earnings next one is amber okay with amber so I'm just gonna go back to the weekly a second Got to isolate this again. Bear with me a second. Okay, there we are. So, what's happened here is people ask me, How do you get in a third wave move? What happened here on this um, early wave? We, this was the entry uh, here. So this was an earnings play really. Uh, we had a wave four pullback and then we had a big move up, hit the fifth wave target zone. But this original third wave, where you see my cursor moving now, this fifth wave was longer in price. Okay, So the software automatically relabels that a wave three now okay so what I've done right now is uh, these are f these fifth wave target zones are fib zones so we've pulled we've come back down to test uh, this zone and we've pulled back up again fantastic move uh, we're in great profit now and this one's um, we're you know we're around about 250 percent profit times risk so really good You're risking ten thousand dollars at twenty five thousand dollars risk now so uh, reward what I've done is put the trading stop underneath this pivot you can see it a little bit better on the daily because now using multiple time frame strategy you can see on the daily the, the trade that we're in pulled back on a wave four and has just hit the fifth wave target zone on the daily so now what I'm doing is using this uh, wave four pivot on the daily as my trading stop position to to manage those tr th th this particular swing trade what I'm looking for now is is a you know continue a, a continued push up through there uh, to 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 clear this uh, fifth wave target zone. I've got to be patient. I'm going to be using the manager. You see the manager here, the green cloud. Um, what I'm looking for here on settings, the manager. I've got it on day trading conservative. Even though I'm swing trading, I've just put it a little bit there. We can see the green cloud has gone through this particular. Um, trying to stop position but the cloud is there is designed when it turns red in this if I zoom in in this case here when it turns red that's when you get out or you get some higher than average volume big rejections here and you get out as well there's a couple of strategies in there but right now I'm 
cool collective and we've got some good profits in on there now all not all of these <laughs> excuse the pun are um, in a profit making position right now let's go and just now I have to go and realign this on the wave four so I'm on the Elliott wave I'm just going to re-isolate this for a second so bear with me Okay, so this is where we are right now. So this has behaved pretty well in the from the from the trend uh, beginning of this current trend. We've had four, five, six star buys in the expert algo part of that uh, swing trading bundle. Had a nice move up. We had a wave four pullback, hit the fifth wave, and continued to go. And that's when it was relabeled a wave three. Then we've had a wave four pullback. Now we're going pretty much sideways. I, we will need an earn, earnings catalyst on the fourth of November to to get this. Uh, to push this up uh, right now it's in a slight loss making position uh, you can see my stop loss is here it's come to test it but it's not actually taken the stop out uh, so there's still uh, you know there's still buyers coming in in and around 124 dollars to to actually to see this value here but it's just not grabbing enough uh, momentum with this one we need it, the uh, manager should be on swing trading again you can change those you can see now actually the cloud is still green but it's getting pretty close to actually wanting to take that out so I'm gonna have to keep a close eye on this soon and probably just you know if you have to take a little loss you have to take a little loss uh, not everything not every single uh, trade is a winner so this is one of the ones that's in a slight losing position right now ADM we're profitable in this one um, and we will be moving this so this is on the daily this is an Elliott wave and an expert so this is a combination of two signals so we've had a great wave three brilliant wave four coming down into this uh, pullback zone then we've had uh, although we had the false breakout on the bottom because I had the six star buy on the expert I decided to put an entry in at 62.46 because not only have we got an 85% probability of it in that fifth wave target zone for Elliott Wave, we've had the six star buy, three star sell, not really interested. What we're going to do right now though, we've had earnings, well sorry we've got earnings 26th of October, I'm going to allow the earnings reaction to happen and then hopefully you know looking back on previous earnings good bullish move on this one good bullish move on this one good flat to bullish on this one bullish on this one four out of four okay last four earnings bullish that makes me want to stay in allow the earnings reaction to happen if we continue and we get that bullish or even sideways action i can make this one risk free right now i just need to wait for the earnings on monday but I'm reasonably confident on this uh, to, to get that going. But had a great day Friday. Uh, you know, we the, we've broken this pivot last week, and then we are we're heading towards testing these highs around about 69.28. So another good-looking trade. NYT, fantastic trade this one. So again, got to re-isolate from these lows. I think I put this one uh, in our Discord group. I, I don't share too much stuff with the from the inner circle, uh, but I did put this one in the Discord group, and uh, quite a few people traded this with options. So, and they've done pretty well. One three one eight nine. The important thing when using earlier wave indicator suite is to identify the lows. Okay, the start of the trend, and then it does it all for you. Uh, so again, this one is for not, it's, a, it's been a great trade. It's been a perfect trade. We had a wave four pullback, found support in the amber zone. False breakout stochastic on the top, crossed over in the oversold zone. We got a 90 to 140, lovely crowning in here on the uh, on the Elliott wave um, oscillator. And we, we went for it, we go. We had an ABC correction up to the, uh, the fifth wave target zone. It, it's blown through. Uh, we had higher than average volume on Friday with an up candle. 
we did higher uh, sorry thursday and then friday we are higher than average volume higher high high low but it rejected those highs uh, so a little concerning there uh, and one of the things i was looking for is a test of this and see how it reacted on this previous resistance level these are the all-time highs back up here uh, but right now this is pretty good what i'm going to be doing now is putting a trailing stop on there with nyt so what we're looking for here is I'm going to be changing the uh, manager to day trading conservative. We can see here we are now the green cloud is through there. But I also got this pivot here. That's what I'm interested in. I'm interested in that because that pivot here, I'm going to move that on there in a second. This pivot, when we use the manager, we can see this is a higher volume than the previous candle but it's higher than average volume good rejection that's a 618 rejection from those lows during that particular day so actually putting this trailing stop just below there is sensible right now where is the current bar position here we're just underneath the cloud here so actually with the manager looking at the behavior with the manager with this uh, with the cloud and then this um, this rejection we're good. We can see it again. We got the six star buy to give us confidence that this was. So we were trading the fifth wave of the Elliott wave, and then we got this six star buy with the expert algo. That that's pretty. You know, it's not certain, but it's a pretty good probability it's going to go and test that uh, fifth wave target zone, and it did. Uh, what I'm looking for now is does it does it test this pivot down here around around about fifty three dollars, or does it continue? that will be my next decision where we put the next trading stop so on the spreadsheet for the inner circle all i all i would do is you know we've got a 5130 there on nyt uh, just to inform them you know i'll put it as a 5130 and 5130 here and then just change that to pink so they know now that's a trailing stop okay and they all have access to this shared spreadsheet so the next thing uh, we look at is br now this is pure expert algo uh, signal this one fantastic so uh, going back to some of the basic uh, fundamentals that i look at when i'm putting these um, charts together are these big i mean this is a fantastic channel here Lots of tests on the top. Center line is really tested from above and below. This is a great trend. We can see on the five five stars and six stars by C with the expert algo, we had a good move, and then we have had a good move recently. So what we are right now, again, we are on day trading conservative, even on the daily time frame. We've got earnings coming up 3rd of November, so we've got to make some decisions before then. Uh, but also we've just broken this pivot here this is important for me because this most likely could act as support okay so the thing for me to do right now is just make this risk free we've got give it lots of fresh air so 171.61 is where that will be so again in this spreadsheet in the circle 171.61 and change the color uh, so i'm just going through my work process I'm, I'm i'm recording this on a saturday because uh this is one of my jobs on a saturday within the circle so now we're risk free with this we want to you know th this could test the upper bound of the channel uh, this is a non-linear resistance zone and it, it, it and it could bounce back off there so I'm just looking. I've got another, you know, I've got this uh, here. If it doesn't, if it just continues to go the next couple of days, I'll adjust my trading stop just below this zone here. I'm locking some profit. Basically, I'm looking for a pullback and a test. But I'm also going to be using the manager to understand how this volume is going right now. So we've got higher highs, higher lows Thursday, Friday, but it was lower than average volume. So it's running out of juice. Uh, it could be that we come to test the upper band of this channel and we have that pullback I would be looking for the center line of the channel to hold as support there as well as well as this linear so you know it's no plain sailing this uh, with the swing trading bundle from globaltradingsoftware.com 
we've got lots of different strategies but the main thing is to be patient especially in these current markets we we're not going to rush into taking profits it can blow through targets as you've just seen uh, with uh, with NYT with MV, with amber it, you know there's quite a few that will blow through targets and, and the expert algo six star is the highest um, probability move and that was why we got that entry at this point here so you always enter just above there I've got lots of fresh air to the upper bound of that channel uh, it, you know it was a no-brainer for me especially then once we on the second day of the trade we got higher than average volume with this candle the managers show me with the uh, cyan dot above it closed near the highs uh, and we got a green candle so that is high that is you know higher volume than the previous candle and we got the gap up this is a good move we've continued we continue to go pretty well here and then we're gonna you know in theory we're gonna come back um, maybe test here depends what goes on so that's another trade MT is the next trade on the weekly time frame okay so let's go here Bear with me, wrong chart. There we go. Okay, so MT is a swing trade. Uh, we are on the weekly here, and we're looking at a. There we go. Sorry. Harmonic pattern forming here. Um, one of the things I was looking for is uh, a break above this pivot which was fantastic it was good uh, so again harmonic indicator is part of that uh, so we're trading bundles so we got a nice harmonic pattern I wanted to break this pivot and my entry was here at 31 if I go to the daily time frame see it a little bit closer got some confidence when we got into this trade uh, because we got a six star buy as well on the expert algo so that gives us more confidence the bias part of that bundle is now turned to green so when we look on this daily time frame uh, we that looks up at automatically on the higher time frame and tells me that the bias is bullish this is pretty good so new newish trade this one we got the stop below this pivot which also is the this pivot here this pivot here this is a triple bottom this is really strong uh, there's a lot of work for this to do uh, and again, I want to close and a, and a continuation up above this 50% line around $33. And that's where I'll go. But it's a new trade. Just got to give it time, time to breathe. Now, into is just a new trade, but it has gone to the moon. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just going to have a drink of water. Okay, long video. Do apologize to this, guys. But it's important to understand there's lots of different trading opportunities when you swing trading stocks. And I'm trying to highlight all of the differences, the different types of strategies, not just to get in, but to also manage these trades. Very, very important when you swing trading stocks uh, to identify those high potential uh, trades. Um, and, you know, this is just my current open position. So I'm just going to go through them all. Um, go back to swing trading on the manager for this one. OK, so if I know, sorry. I'm going to put that on day trading conservative now. So with this into uh, pretty, you know, nice wave for pullback into the green zone. You see this uh, purple cloud here. This is the 89 EMA cloud. The gray is the 55. This is also part of that swing trading bundle. So these are what you call non-linear support and resistance zones. Uh, and you'll see on the daily time frame. Uh, these 89s and 55s are very strong on these wave 4 pullbacks for earlier wave uh, and I do take note of those as well as these linear uh, pullback zones that you see in green here so great pullback fantastic opportunity quite aggressive into this one to be honest uh, above the the 55 EMA cloud and up above this pivot and this was the entry at this point here at 54609 uh, we got a entry this day, you know, four days later, we got higher than average volume on this candle, higher than average volume on this candle. We got a six star buy on the expert algo, gave me lots of confidence. Now, yes, on Friday, we made a new fifth wave high. So we made a new high, not reached my target zone yet. So managing this trade 
uh, you know, I've put the, the cloud on uh, day trading conservative, uh, but I also need to take into consideration this cluster and this previous wave three and that pivot here because this support and resistance zone really could act as uh, you know support here it may just dip down below so right now I'm going to be quite aggressive with this trade it's reasonably new some of them have been on a long time and they're just really not playing but this this thing is moving it closed near the highs on Friday this thing is moving pretty well the momentum's there uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go below these two pivots right here right now. I'm actually going to go and put that manager because this is what you call a parabolic move. And when you've got the manager, we don't just need down to go down to day trading conservative. We probably need to go to uh, day trading moderate and day trading aggressive even on this particular trade. Because even though we're swing trading this, this has been a parabolic move it's almost straight up it's made new highs it's broken through that wave three pivot here so we've got to be very very aggressive with this uh, and basically now i will look for this to turn red if it starts to pull back then i'll get out right now my trading stop position here is 56269 so again on my inner circle spreadsheet i'm just going to change that 562 69 that's locking in profit another one okay so that's into great great looking trade bx is next we're swing trading this one it's another good mover okay again it's elliott wave but we need to we need to go back and isolate because um we're, we're on di you know different stocks have different ages if you like and they're all uh, at different cycles so we need to understand where the lows are and we need to isolate those okay so just isolated at the lows here this is the start of the trend as you can see we've had wave four pullbacks fifth wave is broken wave four pulls back fifth wave is broken this is a strong bullish trend now we had a wave four pullback into the amber zone. Look how it found support on that 89 EMA cloud, part of that swing trading bundle. Phenomenal. False breakout stochastic pulled back. The crowning here did break the 90 to 140, um, but you've got to look at the behavior of this current trend, and I've just gone through it. We had a wave four pullback, big fifth wave move. Wave four pullback, fifth wave move. Wave four pullback, fifth wave move. So all the way along, this has been, you know, behaving very well as far as Elliott Wave is concerned and even carrying it through earnings was not a big thing for me and we can see now we closed at the highs and just broke that wave three pivot on Friday so very very happy with this amber zone 80% probability is going to hit the fifth wave target zone uh, it's found support at the non-linear as well with the 89 EMA cloud one thing out of everything was bad um, but I've got to look at the behavior and thinking you know this is pretty good so now uh, we, you know, we're into this trade, four days, we've got a six star buy on the expat. This gives me even more confidence going into earnings. So, you know, not just trading that fifth wave now, the Elliott wave, we've got another signal using a totally different strategy. That gives me more confidence going into that trade. And this is where we are. This is where we close on Friday, near the highs, near the highs. So what we're going to do now is we have some big gap ups here. This we could in theory because we have breached this wave three okay and we did have a great earnings reaction however there could be some profit take it so right now i just want to make it risk free I, because we had these one two three you know four days of gap ups uh if the momentum continues next week fine i'll start to be more aggressive but for right now, I just want to make it risk free just to see if some profit taking happens. If there is, I very much doubt it will be high volume. I just need to find that pivot and that will allow me to find that trailing stop position to lock in profits. So with BX, it's just, you know, basically the entry for now. It's done a lot of work, I know, and some people would say, oh, why don't you lock in more profit? Because when you're swing trading stocks, you need to give it room to breathe around these wave three pivots, especially. 
you know it could continue on Monday gap up uh, and, and go again that's fine right now I'm Saturday I'm at the weekend that's where I'm going to put my training stop and that's where I'm going to tell the inner circle to put their training stop for Monday so let's put that on there okay so that's BX young this is a new one okay this is a new trade I'm on the four hour on this one okay so with this one we a um, lot of work went into this one we have a great channel here it's on the taken from the daily time frame great bullish channel we've had some great six five and six star uh, buys in here they've gone to test the channel they come back down to test the bottom and then they're gone again this is a bullish channel so this is a four hour time frame we've got earnings coming up as well next week uh, this is just tiptoed in for me uh, we've had some really great earnings reactions and I needed to get in I needed an aggressive entry strategy to get in on this trade I did make a video on this I think or, or you know um, you know recently uh, but the main thing is for me way for pullback green zone previous support and resistance zone around here and then we've got to get for the entry above this cluster that's highlighted in yellow here obviously these are all things I've marked on my chart um, as I'm doing this um, type of analysis if you like then we get a six star buy on this four hour candle my entry is above the six star buy above this cluster on the left and we've just tiptoed in right now uh, we go to the daily time frame and this is how we look right now on the daily you can see we've got a five star buy as well on the expert algo so this is a sensible entry we've got earnings coming up 28th of october next week uh, and you know for me i needed to get in before earnings because some earnings really you know we look back on these earnings reactions and pretty much apart from one flat you know we're, we're four or five all bullish earnings out of five so uh, really really good looking uh, potential here for Yum. Uh, slight loss making position right now but I'm waiting for the earnings, earnings catalyst to catapult me into there uh, DHR is next this is a brand new trade as well um, again this was an earnings play with an Elliott wave um, indication so wave four pullback Amber zone, 80% probability it's going to go and hit there. We're looking for the earnings to get us in. Uh, see how this 89 EMA cloud here has held as that non-linear support. Really, really good. Uh, we've had the earnings reaction now. Uh, we had uh, with the manager we can see that we had a candle here, this red candle. So that's higher volume than the previous candle, but it was higher than average volume and it rejected. That's a 786 rejection if you've ever seen one. So it rejected those lows on high volume. Stability on Friday, which you would normally see when you get high volume rejection. Uh, what we're looking for on Monday if that is that to continue with a higher high, higher low. So new trade this one, risk reward is one to 1.6. So risk $10,000 here for potential reward of $16,000 there. Uh, so pretty new trading there. CTLT is the next one. Slight loss making position with this one again. Again, I've just got to re-isolate this wave count because all the bar numbers are totally different for each stock. Um, once, unless they were, um, unless it went to IPO the same day. Uh, I can't remember the number now. Let's just see what that is. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> okay, so we have uh, wave four pullback. Oscillator is really good. False breakout in stock stochastic was a little concerning. Um, let's just put that back to uh, day trading conservative for now. Uh, maybe even swing trading because it's only just a new trade on the manager so again uh, this one I'm just going to switch the manager off a second with this one we came down to test previous support resistance zone it's a big fat zone but it tested it more importantly the 55 EMA cloud held as non-linear support the, the fib zones for this green zone acted as support this is a good looking trade uh, 
great risk reward into that into that zone we got tiptoed in last week uh, we got earnings coming up second of November which could be the catalyst when we look at previous earnings reactions pretty much you know we had one bearish I think I looked that's bullish that's a massive bullish move there so you know three out of four is bullish the odds are with you on that earnings reaction especially as we have a really great Elliott wave full buck for pullback here so this is a brand new trade as well that entry was 134.09 and then on Friday we had Garmin enter as well um, so this uh, again traditional wave for pullback I needed to get into this one reasonably aggressive because I wanted to get in before earnings because the last lot of earnings reaction for Garmin were either flat or bullish you see here big bullish move this one we had slight bear move but respected the EMA clouds very very well last one slight bullish and then this one was a big bullish move here we've had a traditional way for pullback that's profit taking now we good we found good support into that uh, green zone uh, we've we've clung on to this 89 EMA cloud we've pushed back up through it one of my uh, here you know one of the things we looked at here is uh, getting back above the 55 with the price action before we got the entry but now we are in the trade we've got earnings next week and we're looking for that to continue okay guys so uh, apologies for the length of the video but this is very important you can understand how I I earn my money okay how am I in a circle uh, trade with me because stock swing trading is my bread and butter uh, these are the current trades we've got open at the moment a thousand five percent profit times risk so really really great um, hopefully it's been useful for you looking at all those tools within that swing trading bundle all the tools I use that's why it's in the swing trading bundle the expert algo the Elliott wave indicator suite the harmonics patterns the EMA clouds the bias indicator everything there is there to help you uh, you know get these continually high profitable high probability swing trading um, positions on stocks